Hey everybody, Sarah here. So, I was going to make a video on Thursday or Friday. I wasn't planning on making one today. And I certainly wasn't planning on making this video that I'm doing now. Not for once did it cross my mind that I'd be making this video. Like, what I'd be talking about. So, uh, about, I can't remember what time it was now. Was it about 5 ish? Four-ish, I think four o'clock, um, UK time. Um, I was on the Daily Mail website. Well, I went onto the Daily Mail website because, you know, see what news was happening, and to say that they're like story like the, the main story at the top of the page um took me by surprise that's an understatement um yeah i went on there and i can't oh, i can't even remember that it's changed now but the um the, the like headline not word for word was like pop idol star Darius Dinesh Campbell or Darius Campbell Dinesh or however they worded it um, dead at 41 I was like sorry what um I mean like what the hell was going on um and I, I, I googled his name and obviously yeah it came up but I'm like I'm speechless I just like I so um he was found in America in his apartment in um I want to say Minnesota. Now I'm doubting myself. Um, I mean, I'm looking for where it, oh, Minnesota, did I say Minnesota? I think I said Minnesota. Yeah, Ro Rochester, Minnesota. Um, yeah, well, I was looking for that. And um, around about the front pages of the papers. And it's literally like, oh, it doesn't seem real. Yeah, so, um, Where was I? Um, yeah, he was in Minnesota, his apartment in Minnesota. He was found there in bed. I mean, in bed as he didn't wake up the following morning, I don't know. Or did he mean like, did he go for a nap and never woke up? I don't know. There's not much to the story, yeah. Not to the story, to, to the, the article. It, you know, obviously there's plenty there, but it's not really say much about what happened all it was was um he was found in bed there's no like suspicious um uh suspicious the word they use suspicious or um whatever the word was like no no, no, no nothing like out the ordinary now but there's still no word on what actually caused his death and as far as I know he wasn't the kind of person that would be into drugs and all that kind of stuff the first thing that crossed my mind when I saw there was no like you know like he didn't have any like illness as far as any articles are saying the first thing that crossed my mind was 
Stephen Cately. It was like, was there something wrong with him that he didn't know about? Like Stephen Gately had um, an undiagnosed heart condition, went to sleep like he would, never woke up. Was that the same with Darius? I have no idea. Um, yeah, no. I'm, I'm sorry I'm like this, but I'm still trying to get my head around it. Um, so, I think most people remember him. I, at least I do. I think, it, yeah, it's probably the first time people, like, found out who he was, was on Popstars. Um, yes, I remember, I watched Popstars, huge fan of Hearsay at the time. I mean, I'm still a fan of the people in Hearsay now, but I mean, I was a huge Hearsay fan back then, when they were, when they were together. And um, from that programme, you had Darius famously doing Hit me baby one more time. That is a clip I keep seeing on on um, websites today, and I mean it's just weird seeing that, and I'm like, he's not here anymore. Um, yes, yeah, so we remembered him seeing that, um, singing that song, um, and he was like, say a laughing stop, but you know, people were like, oh my god what was that all about kind of thing and he was like I'm gonna have a number one single and platinum album and people made fun of him for that um following year he ended up doing uh pop idol um he was I, I thought I got, I got the video of pop idol <laughs> that's how far back I got the video of pop idol um, I think it was a video, I don't think it was a DVD. Um, and I remember him auditioning. I'm pretty sure he got through to a certain point. He didn't get through to the live shows. But Rick Waller um, had to drop out. And Darius was the one that was brought in. And then he ended up coming third. I mean, I kind of wish it was second, because then it would have been Will Young and Darius Dene. Instead it was Will Young, um, Gareth Gates and Darius Dene. Um, yeah, and I mean, I wanted Will Young to win that. Well, I wanted Will Young or Darius to win that, but obviously in the final, I can't remember how we worked out in the final, was it? Yeah. It was a final, but in the final it was only the two. I was wondering if it was free. And then they paused the votes and then they um said third place and all that, but no, think about it, because after the show that Darius was knocked out of it on, then I remember Will and Gareth went to their tour buses. Their tour buses, their um you know, the, the bus is like, vote Will, vote Gareth, kind of thing, that kind of thing. I don't think Darius has one, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Um, yeah, so obviously I remember him in that. Um, and then, um, then he did end up having a number one single with Colourblind. And he ended up having um, the Platinum Sun album. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the album's called. I got it, I've got all these albums. I cannot like me remember what the album's called. Hang on, I'm gonna look here. Um Dive in, that's it. Oh yeah, yeah, two albums. Maybe he had more than two albums, I can't remember, but I remember Live Twice and I remember Dive In. Um As for the songs I was just listening to, well, the ones that are on his YouTube. I watched those and there was one I remember the name of, which I think was Live Twice, but I cannot remember like the um 
I could not remember the song. I knew the name of it, but not the actual song when, when I was listening to it. But like the other ones, I remembered. Um, I think my, I don't know. I like this colour blind one. I love this colour blind one. I lo I loved all of them. I don't know, but it's something about rushes. I don't know. I don't know why, but every time I see the video set, I'm like, oh my god, I love that song. Um, yeah. So, um, what was I gonna go to after? Oh yeah. Um, I uh, hang on. I um. He went on to do West End. I never saw him do anything in the West End, unfortunately, because, like, I live in Wales. Um, I mean, if I could get down to London all the time, I'd be going down to see Mars in Mamma Mia as many times as I could if I had the money as well. But, yeah, I never saw him in the West End. What was he in? Chicago, Guys and Dolls, um, Bunny Girl. Um, probably a few other things as well. Um, yeah, but what I was going to say before I finish this video was, well, actually, it's two more things. One is that I, um, um, what was it? I remember doing, I remember, I remember reading something in the paper about, we, we did at one time have a radio station called Real Radio and in one of the local papers there would be like a column that the two that the Real Radio would do and they mentioned something about Darius being not on the show, not on their show but on the station um, at some point and I, I emailed um, I didn't email them, I, um, I emailed the station, like the, the, the DJ that would be interviewing him. And I literally was listening to the radio, e writing the email. And when I, um, as I was finishing writing it, he was mentioning about Darius being on there. And then I sent it. And then literally I, I think they played a song or the news was on or something and then he was like just had an email about um or from oh no, no i think i wrote it with the question or what message or whatever i wanted darius to hear or darius to answer or whatever and when i um said that it was like we just had an email in from i think they said my name i'm not saying my name on here obviously and they um they were like, we'll make sure we we'll read this out and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, will they remember? Hmm. Um, jump ahead to whenever the interview was. <laughs> it was literally, um, first question was, this message is coming literally eight minutes after I mentioned you were going to be on the show. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's my name. And um, yeah, so I, I think they played this Rushes. I think it was Rushes they played. And Darius was like, I think he said my name. I think he mentioned my mum. Um, yeah, so I was over the moon about that. I recorded it onto tape. I mean, tape. And I know there's a website that probably got the interview or any, any interviews he's done on the radio and that online somewhere. I'm sure there is because I did find it once. Now I can't find it again. And I'm kind of annoyed about it. Oh, I don't know, but I, I really want to find that that interview. Um, yeah, and one thing before I go, um, like I said, he died on the eleventh of August, um, this year. His birthday, because I always said to my mum, because I was supposed to be born on the eighteenth of August, I was born on the second of August, but I was supposed to be born on the eighteenth of August. My mum has always said it's the day before Darius's birthday, which is 19th August. So it he, he was literally like, um, well, he died about, oh, uh, just over a week before his 
42nd birthday. And it broke my heart when I saw somebody say instead of celebrating his birthday with his family, they're going to be burying him. And I was like, oh. yeah. So um, if there's any more stuff, I will um, make another video. But um, rest in peace, Darius.